today I want to share our experience with the daycare because we can't afford that I am a stay-at-home mom, I have to have a job. We uh, have chosen to let our child to a private daycare. We, the reason for this choice was that we thought that it would be easier to find one that uh, would be okay with our child being vegan or, and eating differently than other kids. We didn't expect her to cook for him. We were totally okay that uh, I would need to make him lunch boxes every single time. You know, and small stuff like that. I will start from the beginning. And so how did we find our great daycare? Uh, in Denmark here we have a Facebook group uh, which for, for day, different for daycares from different cities. So I chose our city and I just posted that we're looking for daycare that is vegan friendly. Uh, we actually got a few replies. That was very nice and that was quite fast. And that's how we found her. We visited her, we talked with her and it seems that her family had some experience with the different um, diets per se. Someone in the family was vegetarian for some time, someone had a gluten-free and e-free diet, you know, different stuff. And the biggest plus was that she was willing to cook for him and she was even agreeing to cook vegan food for other children, even if our child would be the only one that is vegan. Um, that's great! And that's the biggest plus because we always wanted to have our child an example of other kids eating the same way he does. Because it's uh, really important, even though the number one uh, example is parents, but the peer pressure is strong no matter what. So for us it was important that until a certain age our child actually has no possibility to get animal food accidentally because he doesn't understand that other kids that don't eat the same way that he does. Uh, later on we obviously gonna teach him or talk with him about why we chose this lifestyle and why mommy and he eat differently. Our dad is not vegan. So back to the daycare. It's a bit far away and that can be troublesome sometimes but it's sometimes but it's worth it because we got what we wanted and I don't have to cook for him even though I do sometimes I make some gluten-free bread I do deliver some gluten-free flours or oatmeal for her so she doesn't have to be bothered or buying extra things uh, sometimes I bring him some lunch or snacks because I, I want that I choose to do that. Most of the time she does cook and it seems that he's thriving, he's very happy being there. So I think the change overall from being at home and going to daycare was hardest for me than for him. He was happy from the very first day. He could stay there and have fun with the daycare mom. When he sees us, he smiles, but he continues playing, so that's a good thing. <laughs> Even though sometimes you know, oh, he didn't miss me at all, but that's okay. Sometimes he runs and hugs you, and those moments you really pressure. So that's how we found a daycare that is vegan friendly. And obviously at the moment, when he's one year old, so we have kind of two years left where we can use a daycare. And I'm a bit maybe being afraid of the next step when he will have to go to a kindergarten because I know that vegan children or differently eating children are not very popular here in Denmark unless you have a doctor's permission to eat one or the other lifestyle, otherwise, the people can't be bothered giving your child something else because. You know what, children, I want that, I want something what the other child is having and none of the um, uh, 
teachers or people who take care of your child they don't want that they don't want that problem they want to feed every single child the same diet and it's really sad that in Denmark we still have this problem that the only way your child gets to eat what your parents want him to eat is to get a doctor's permission or exemption you know that he's allergic to that he can't eat that and I think it's time to change Denmark it's not okay look at the other countries you just write that your child is vegan vegetarian pescatarian or whatever and there is no problem because you deliver your child obviously to the to an institution where they have to take care of uh, him for some time and they're not robots they're not all the same kids it's the same like when you teach different kids like you use different learning techniques and stuff to get that child to learn something not the whole class the same so I think we reached the stage in I don't know in the whole world when we can accept different people and be happy for them and not force our views on them is the same way that I don't come to their, their houses and I don't say that you don't eat that because our child doesn't I mean that would be nice obviously I can't hide I would love that lots of kids would be vegan because that's the healthiest lifestyle in my opinion but I, I just can't allow myself to cross that line it's just not okay the same way I expect the government not to cross the line and expect me to be okay with their rules because I don't think that that's their right to decide how my child has to grow or develop yeah so I'm happy for this particular stage for our daycare that there are people who are okay and who are willing to help and to work together to reach the common goals and that makes both sides happy I think the non-private institutions should also follow this example and be more open and more willing to work with different people and if you are looking for daycare just ask ask for things you're expecting if you can't be a stay-at-home mom and require that's your right to require a child to eat the way you want him to eat because you are a parent and you know best what your ch what's healthiest and what's best for a child thank you for watching this serious video see you next time bye